there is no way to minimize how big shutting down an interstate is. It's coming to an end after more than a year, so why isn't everyone East Tennessee happy? drivers have almost made it. We're just a few days away from the reopening of I-40 through downtown Knoxville. The Tennessee Department of Transportation closed less than a mile stretch of the interstate more than a year ago. But not everyone's eager for the detour signs to come down. And volunteer to be Mike McCarthy joins us with more. So, Mike, who's worried about this? Well, it's businesses benefiting from that detour, but their loss will likely be other businesses' gain. This is all about the traffic count. And when I-40 reopens, the number of vehicles and where they drive will all change. It's been a big headache. You can't miss the sign. But that doesn't make finding the Regus restaurant any easier from I-40. It has been a, an adventure in telling people how to get here. Local road closings affect us greatly. Especially closing part of the interstate that runs right by the nearly 90-year-old downtown Knoxville restaurant. There is no way to minimize how big shutting down an interstate is. So when the Tennessee Department of Transportation shut down less than a mile stretch of I-40 through downtown more than a year ago. Some business at Regis got detoured with the traffic. We did see a definite effect when it started. Manager Katie Noble says the closure has kept away new and simply sign-inspired customers. It will be fun when there's one way. The main way to get here. That's set to happen ahead of schedule. We are very excited. TDOT plans to clear away the barrels Friday afternoon. The I-40 reopening will add more traffic near spots like Regis. But that'll take drivers off the 640 detour and away from businesses like Central Park. We are, you know, nervous that it will decrease our sales even more. TDOT estimates the detour adds 30,000 vehicles on I-640 every day. Manager Patty Evans says that spiced up sales at the Western Avenue fast food spot just after the closure. We were substantially busier. Our sales were up, you know, we had more cars coming in. But then after about six months, it just slowed back down. Now sales have already slumped about 20%. Evans worries fewer cars driving by will mean fewer driving through. With the tra more traffic, the potential is there for the sales. But if the traffic's not there, we worry that the sales won't be either. Two restaurants counting on the traffic count to keep business rolling. Well, the I-40 reopening is coming more than two weeks early. It was originally set to happen on June 30th. TDOT estimates more than 100,000 vehicles traveled this particular stretch of the interstate before it closed. Alan, the opening ceremony is set for 2 o'clock this afternoon. You can be a part of the celebration. We have all the details for you at VolunteerTV.com. Of course, we do feel sorry for those businesses that, that are going to be hurt, but certainly the positives outweigh the negatives here. And absolutely, just yeah. the, the way through downtown and all yeah. the drivers we've talked to are just yeah. very, very excited about this, but our thoughts and hopes are with sure. these businesses to hang in there. Absolutely. Mike, thank you.